Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I feel like I'm kind of in an awkward position. I put myself in because I've got Miss Connie over here with me, and we put her close to the piano. And we put your new pastor, new pastor. who was your interim pastor, yes. who is now the real deal. <laughs> he's like the real deal. He's the real deal. And he, he's been the real deal for a long time, but now he's the real deal at McKaysville. And we're going to visit with y'all in a little bit. But I want to share a little bit about what's happening um, in our communities. Ball Ground had a wonderful weekend filled with a lot of people, a lot of visitors came to town and Evelyn and I got out and walked up to Dominic's and they're making homemade ice cream. This lady makes homemade ice cream and she said test this one, test this one, test this one. Get out and get to know your tiny towns that we are in from Ball Ground to Turtle Town. Get out and load your car up, take your grannies, take your aunts, take your friends, and go to your little tiny towns and support these little tiny towns. Because once the leaf lookers leave, then you know what that means? These little businesses struggle through the winter months. So we want to support them all from the restaurants to the shops to the even the barbers and the beauticians. You know, everybody, support them all as we approach the holidays because we're approaching some holidays that will be rough on a lot of people. And uh, Bob Reese is gonna join us in a little bit. We're gonna talk about what he's been doing. He and Linda put this deal together 30 some odd years ago to give back. And we all have the ability, if you're sitting at home and you're thinking, I'd like to go out to dinner. Don't drive 40 miles to go out to dinner. Go to your little tiny hometown and choose somebody local who spends money on your ball teams, who spends money in your churches, help them when they have a bake sale. Do things that you give back and you give back and you give back. Don't you think that's a cool oh, I idea? I think that's a good idea. That's I think it's a good idea. idea. Keep it close to home. Keep it close to home. Okay, we are, we're going to talk about a little change that happened at First Baptist McKaysville. Yes. And I can just say I love that church. Um, first time I went there was for the Bryson family was doing a little concert. Papa Jack and, and um, Let's see, Papa Jack was there, and I think David was there. Denise. I don't think Wally was there, but Denise was mm -hmm. there. Yes, and we had a little concert, and it was really, really cool. So I remember walking in that church, and it just had a really good homey feeling. And now, all of a sudden, you have a new pastor. We do. Where would you round him up at, Connie? <laughs> Where would you find him? Oh, well, I think he was at First Ella J. First, First Baptist Ella J., and then you escaped here. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now you've gone north where it's really beautiful. It's so pretty. It's been a great connection. Uh, actually, leaving uh, First Ella J back in uh, 2015, mm -hmm. I transitioned over to Truett McConnell University as Director of Church Relations and um, have been doing that and been doing interims all along the way having served there at Truett McConnell, still do in a part-time mm -hmm. kind of a mm -hmm. consultant mm -hmm. manner, but uh, in April of this year, uh, they needed a pastor, uh, at least a, an interim pastor, so we went over there and uh, spent some time with them doing that, and I guess they just thought, well, we've, we've got to the bottom of the barrel, so let's just stop here <laughs> and let's just uh, yeah. go on with this guy. So, uh, yeah. so starting September of this year, I have become a senior pastor again. That's so cool. Do we want to tell people that we have a connection sure, in Atlanta? Sure, absolutely. We went to the same high school. I'm older than him. Just a little. Just, a, Just little. a little. Just a little. Two years. I'm older than him. <laughs> but talking about that hot light at Krispy Kreme <laughs> on Ponce de Leon, it's so good to have home folk here. You know, it's so good to have home folk here. You know what it was like for us to pull down Ponce de Leon and see that That's hot right. line. Yes, That's yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. And, and to be in Atlanta, you know, we had the Ansley Golf Club and we had mm -hmm. the Fox Theater and we had Mary Max Tea Mary Room. Mary Max. Mm -hmm. We had, we grew up, did we not, that was a good community. It was. It was a wonderful, wonderful really community. Mm -hmm. But you aced it and got out of there early. I aced it and got out of there early. We left early because we wanted to go out into the business world. And it's so funny how this, you know, I, I have great memories at Grady. I played basketball. It's wow. so hard for me to imagine My. short little dumpy me playing basketball. <laughs> But I always wanted to do gymnastics. But the one thing I hated, oh, I hated this Coach Malden, I will just tell you. Making them dress out in those ugly little outfits we had to wear. Mm. There is nothing cute about them. And they were tacky, tacky, tacky. So, <laughs> so it is, but great memories at Grady. That yeah. is so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Now, when you left Grady um, and you 
went out into the business world. Did you stay in Atlanta for years? I did for a while. I was in professional photography, mm -hmm. got into the retail end of it, then transitioned and moved to Rome, Georgia. Mm -hmm. and Which got into my grandparents are from. Okay, another little <laughs> thing here. <laughs> my brother lives there now. Okay. Two, three of my brothers live there now. That's just weird. This is just weird. <laughs> Well, I worked at a studio with Clyde Collier Photography there in, in Rome, Georgia, for a number of years. Met Marilyn, my wife, and we dated, went to West Rome Baptist Church, and then married, and then the ministry journey began. Mm -hmm. And so we left Rome, Georgia, went to Dallas, Texas to go to school, finished out there, went to Southwestern Seminary in Fort Worth, Texas, finished there, and then we came back to uh, the Georgia area. Went down to Florida, came back, went back down to Florida, and came. Now I know why my I goodness. Wore his cowboy boots. You well, were that's trained in Texas. that's right, that's right. <laughs> you were trained in Texas. But it's it's it was just, it's just been an cold. incredible journey, and yeah. my wife Marilyn is just she's not apart from the ministry; she's a part of the ministry. Absolutely, and it's been a joy for you to be successful and happy and content in what you're doing. She has to be part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can she sing? Uh, yes. Yes. She yes. can. It helps when you're applying for a wife to be a pastor's wife. It helps if you can. And sing. plays the piano too, but That's she doesn't. Cool. No, no one really knows that, so uh, uh -oh, we're she keep just doesn't. Secret. Don't she tell just, anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, she just does it recreationally, but uh, we just both have had a d incredible journey. Have two boys, uh, both grown and out of the nest, and we have grandchildren, and so we're, you know, we're sort of living this wonderful dream. And now in these years of our life, to be able to come into a church like McKaysville and mm -hmm. just to simply say, "Let us be a servant." That's mm -hmm. all we really want to mm -hmm. be. There's no, there's no agenda. We just want to be a servant. Ask God to just take us and use us in the ways that He wants to, and uh, and so far. Honey, it's been it's been it's fun, been hasn't good. it? It's so been it really, you are yeah. in those retiring years, and oh, you yeah. could have been retired, yeah. and so you've yeah. come out of that retirement yeah. to do this. You must have a love for that community, and it is such a precious it community. Is. It, really it is, is such a precious community. Great church, wonderful yeah. people, and I think I honestly believe in. I love the former uh, pastor and uh, staff and all of that. But there's just something about today that we need mm -hmm. to look at today. You know, past is past. Let's mm -hmm. take it today now and let's move forward. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a congregation of folks in that and a community there that they want to do that. Mm -hmm. I really mm -hmm. believe That's they awesome. want to do that. Now, there's some things that we've got to deal with, yeah. as every church does. Yeah, but yeah. It's good. You know, I Probably. remember I belonged to Cool Springs Baptist Church for 25 years, and mm. and we changed Pastor B Billy Emmett was our pastor when we were Billy. there. I know love Billy, well. Billy Emmett. Love Billy and Gail. I used to give Gail perms. I mean, <laughs> love this family. Who, by the way, is a true at grad. Yes, he is. <laughs> sure. And he, um, when their son died, mm. you know, my daughter died mm. the same way. Mm. So we have that connection. We don't like, but um, but we when when Billy Emmett left and went to Gainesville, I was heartbroken mm. because my pastor was like, I knew what to depend on him, and I got to tell this story on <laughs> Billy Emmett. It's so funny. He would take off his watch and he would lay it up here and he would watch it as he preached. And I said one day, Brother Billy, why are you doing that? And he said, That lady sitting right back there behind you told me she put a meatloaf in. <laughs> And it's got a time, and he was he was teasing. But yeah, I was like, oh my jokester. gosh! But what precious, precious people! Yeah, what yeah. precious people! But it it is hard for the church to then adopt a new pastor. Mm. But you ease into it and yeah. you make it work. Well, we have got a wonderful staff. Uh, our minister of music, <clears throat> worship, and uh, senior adult ministry is a fine young man, 21 when he came there. Wow. And now he's 22. Yeah. Has yeah. a brand new baby, mm -hmm. precious wife, wonderful people. Children's ministry is going wonderful. And Connie's on part of the, on part of the instrumental team that just gives, gives us this great music. And we've got just a wonderful, wonderful group. All we've mm -hmm. got to do is just say, here am I, Lord. Send mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, That's awesome. Yeah. Well, when, when we sat down, I, I keep this with me because my, my sister kept telling me this over and over, and we lost her last Wednesday morning, and it's uh, it's been a weird weekend. I had some things I was going to do I didn't get done because I, was, I just did things to keep my mind busy. But she always said, be still and know that I am God. Mm. And, and if a church is still and doesn't grow, 
we take God's advice and we get in trouble. We need to grow and we need to be still but grow. And mm. so your church has an opportunity now. Yes. And I love that you have young kids there. That's something we don't have at Ball Ground First Baptist. We don't have any very many young children. Yeah. And I can remember at Cool Springs, we had the children's church and they would all come mm. down front. And there was always six or eight little mm -hmm. kids. We don't have that. Yeah. So we need some young people. You know, yeah. you gotta have the youngsters to grow. Well, in churches in this day and time, I think <clears throat> have got to once again really realize we're, we're building for another generation. Mm -hmm. we're, we're worshiping and we're serving for another generation. Mm -hmm. And if we if we forget that, forsake that, and think, no, this is all about us, don't change anything, mm -hmm. it's all about us, then I I think that that's a that's kind of like a death trail mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's it's eventually gonna it's eventually gonna stop. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if we can just broaden our minds and and embrace a community and just say we're here for you, we want to serve you, we want to mm -hmm. love you, mm -hmm. we're gonna grow. Yeah, yeah. And at, at this point in time, we've gotten through the COVID thing. So, you know, we one thing we did see, and I don't know if y'all grew, do you do you do the streaming church? Mm -hmm. Okay. We, do. we grew doing the streaming church, you know. You and did say streaming, not screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Streaming. Well, yeah. Yeah. We do a little screaming too. Some people misinterpret <laughs> yeah. that. It's, I always have yeah, to yeah, yeah. always have to define that. We didn't yeah. say screaming, yeah. we said streaming. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but we do see that people come back and watch our program later right. and then they download it on YouTube. Yeah. So YouTube, for what it's worth, has been great for us. We have one um, thing that we shot here with ETC, it's 255,000 views. That's a pretty good bit of views. That is incredible. You know, that's, that's amazing. So, so we want all the churches to grow. But, um, you know, when somebody new comes to the community, do people ask? I mean, I know as a realtor, people will say, tell me about your community. And the first thing I start with is, well, I belong to the First Baptist Church mm -hmm. of Ground, and duh, and then you go and yeah. you and you let people know. It's important that they know that they're welcome. Yeah. You may be a newcomer, but you can come to our church. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. You know, exposure and presence says a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I want to get out on the streets and I want to go down in the community. And we've got a mission team at our church right now that is preparing to hit all of the downtown McKaysville businesses with gifts and just to say, we're here. Mm -hmm. We want to, any way we can help you and pray right. for you and all those right. stuff. Yeah. Wonderful. But presence sometimes is just a exposure. Sometimes when someone's driving by and they see a simple sign that says, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you're welcome or right. something just right. to kind of say, you know, we want to be, be available and open to you, yeah. uh, to the community. <clears throat> and it's, it's, sometimes it's, it's not easy. And this yeah. day and time when we're, you're competing with so much out there in the culture, church is not like what it used to be. Mm -hmm. We were talking mm -hmm. about that earlier. Mm -hmm. It's just not like it used to be. Nope. And uh, it's, it used to be the hub of community. And now you don't even know it exists. Mm -hmm. Go to a, go into a subway or go into a, 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 a little store, a grocery store, or something like. Do you know where the First Baptist Church is? Uh, no, 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 no. And that's, an that's the truth. It's that's an the indictment truth. on the church in yeah. many ways. Yeah. Well, you and I were at a Methodist church recently, mm -hmm. and uh, what a wonderful service! And it's so funny. When I first came here at ETC, I took some heat because somebody asked me. I had a bunch of female pastors on. And I got a little heat from the community. And I said, oh. And then I went to a Methodist church revival. And they said, oh, well, I'm a Baptist. Mm -hmm. But God likes all of us, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And so I said it was so weird to me mm -hmm. because I grew up in communities where we could walk to church. And I would visit different churches. And I've been to, and, and one of the cool things, and you're going to laugh, one of the greatest messages I ever heard was from a Pentecostal church. Mm -hmm in Orlando, Florida mm -hmm. on 36th Street, little dirt street, little mm. dirt street filled with sand. And I can remember walking to that church and those messages are in my mind forever. You know, it's forever. So it doesn't matter what doors, if you were a Methodist or Baptist or whatever, invite everybody in. And it, I was laughing with you because I worked for a big Jewish law firm in Atlanta. My aunt was, who was backwoods Dawson County Primitive Baptist Church <laughs> married a Catholic in, in Sacred Heart in downtown Atlanta. Now y'all, yeah. that was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I was in the wedding and I have on my Christmas tree now the umbrella from that. Religion is something that we can share. We can share. We can share a message. And sitting in the First Baptist of McKaysville, there sat 
Herbert Olney, mm. who had grown up Jewish and mm. became a Baptist. Mm -hmm. So, so your doors can't be opened unless you open them to everybody. Yeah. You know, open them to the community, open them to the newcomers, open them to the oldcomers, and bring those people in and get together and say, what can you? What can you bring to this church? And everybody can bring something. You bring talented, talented music. <laughs> I brought good cooking. Ask the Emmets. I brought good cooking. <laughs> but but everybody has something they can bring to the church to make the church better. Is your phone ringing? No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's so But you funny. know, Sherry, again, what you said, I think, has a lot of truth, a lot of merit. And if we will center that message, I think that's the thing that we've Welcome. got. Welcome. Welcome. Well, it's like I, I say this so often on, at, during Christmas. You know, you see these little storefront windows in downtown places, and we'll, they'll be here in LJ and in McKaysville. You know, Jesus, the reason for the season. And I've stood in a pulpit once before, and I've said, now, folks, we're gonna, I'm going to gonna let you know the truth. Jesus is not the reason for the season. And you get this, <gasps> this, this gasp. They think you're thought. going to Walmart. <laughs> the point is, Jesus, it really is not the reason for the season. We are. We're the reason he came. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. the reason for the season. He's the gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's receive that. So if we can center that attention, and I know a lot of shingles are out there and a lot of people have different labels and all that, but if we can center our message around the man who wants to change your life, mm -hmm. we're in good shape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're in good shape. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I was telling y'all before we went on, I saw this baptizing and it was in a creek. And it was oh. yesterday, and I said, weren't the creeks cold yesterday? <laughs> but this lady and the pastor, and I'm, I'm going to share this picture when I get off the air. It was just beautiful. It was just so beautiful mm. to see that baptizing. You're going to have a baptizing mm -hmm. on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So you want to invite people to that? They need to come. They need they to need just to come, come, period. <laughs> whether we're baptizing or not. So uh, right. we just want, the, we, the doors are wide open and we're trying to reach out, communicate to our community and everybody that you are welcome. You are mm -hmm. welcome. Our arms are, are open wide and we want to we wanna just embrace. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and it is a new day. It's, yeah. it's a new day at this church and we're and, and thankful, thankful that we can move down the, the pathway uh, for his righteousness. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Now when you got there, were you kind of excited because you have somebody like her on board because she does kind of bring a light. She brings children with her. She brings, I've got so many photos of you and the kids who've been on this show. And now they're what, 17, 18, yeah. 19 <laughs> years old? Yes, yeah. yes, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, but it's it's cool to walk into a church where you have somebody who has this music ministry and and it's it's so cool. Yeah. You are amazing. You're amazing. Well, you I'll tell are. you, to answer the question, yes, because there's nothing, there's really nothing worse in many ways to go in as a pulpit supply or an interim or even as a senior pastor, nothing worse than going in and every Sunday it's rescue the perishing care of the dying kind <laughs> yeah. of music yeah. and you're yeah. having to resurrect this, you know, yeah. so we have a life about our music and our worship experience that is just, it's a, it really is, it has an electric element about it, but it's balanced. Mm -hmm. it, that's the beauty of it. Everybody can, you know, it, it's for everyone and, and, and I believe that First Baptist Church in McKaysville is a is a church where everybody is somebody, and Jesus Christ is Lord. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. uh, you That's know, cool. I, I've got this little cute little thing that I put on our new worship bulletin that we just started this past Sunday, that we are a church with two names because it's McKaysville Copper Hill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're a church with two names sharing one Savior. Oh wow, that so, is cool. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I trust it will continue yeah. in our music, in the message, in our ministry areas. Did. The attendance go really, really down during COVID. Yeah, yeah. And and I think now it's kind of, I don't want to say we're comfortable, but I think we are. I think we're getting a little better. There's a horrible flu going around. I don't know if y'all have dealt with that no, with your yeah. church. Yeah, there's been a horrible flu going around. But but I think, and, and at our church, we still kind of distance. And, and our pastor laughs at me because I don't handshake after October anyway, and I don't hug then because their flu's going around, so I'm weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> they looked at me and said, did you know this was coming? You know, no. But, but it's so cool for people to be sitting back in church because if we're sitting at home watching it, you don't get that love from folks. You need yeah. to gather together. You do need to gather yeah. together Absolutely. and feel that love and feel that presence. Yeah. 
Do you like to hear her play the piano? Absolutely. Would you like to hear her play now? I think it's on the schedule. I think it is. And do you know that that piano is a really, really good one? And it, to me, it would be just almost a crime if yes. Connie Davis were sitting this close to it and did not play it. I think she needs to get I up and I think I'd get thing. a call or two from somebody whining. So, yeah, I think so. Okay, we're going we're gonna to take a quick break. And when we come back, Miss Connie's going to be over here on the piano. So here we go. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000 or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, 
writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside-down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. We're back. Thank you, Miss Connie. That thank was beautiful. You. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, we have got to, you need to send out an invitation. This is not a formal invitation. It's not a written invitation. Okay. It's just an invitation it's to It's an folks. invitation. Everybody that has an opportunity, maybe you do not have a church and um, you need to come to the McKaysville First Baptist Church. It's a wonderful fellowship. We want to encourage you and invite you to be with us. We also stream our services, and so you can get on YouTube or Facebook, and you can just type in First Baptist Church McKaysville. You can see it that way. Get a good taste about who we are and what we're about doing. But then you need to come. You need to come and sit down with us, fellowship with us, get embraced by our church family. It's going to be a wonderful time. We guarantee it, and God's going to bless you for coming. Connie, I got one thing I got to say. This is the only Baptist preacher I've ever been around that didn't say, we ain't meeting if we ain't eating. Nah. <laughs> Do y'all have, well, do you have? Let me go ahead and say that then. No. Do you have homecoming? Do y'all have a homecoming? Well, once Connie, a year, I don't do know. you? No, y'all don't? I'm still so new there. Okay. That, uh, don't, okay. But we do have, I will say, that every Wednesday evening, mm -hmm. we do have a adult Bible study there in our that fellowship hall. Wonderful. And mm -hmm. then we also have a, a dinner that's associated with that. Okay. We meet around the tables, get uh -huh. another piece of pie, another cup of coffee, <laughs> just enjoy okay. it. But it's a good time. That It, it is a great time to get to know people, yes. to sit it around is. and fellowship really around is. the table. Yep. So yeah. And again, that's on Wednesday night? Wednesday evenings at 630. And okay. we have a full program on Wednesday nights also for others, our student ministry, our children's ministry, and then services for at uh, on Sunday start at 1030 with okay. our Bible study at 915. Mm -hmm. I believe. Okay. So, yeah. And then the meal, do you need to tell people you're going to come? No, just come on. Just come on. Just come on. Yay, how yeah, how cool Yeah, there's is always, that? there's always more to, And always it's plenty. always Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right. That's cool. That's right. Yeah, so. and, and there's just something about sitting around a table and fellowshipping. It is. So, yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for bringing him. Thank you for coming to visit <laughs> with us. It. Thank you. We're going to take another break, and we're going to bring on a man that you love. You know and you love Bob Reese. He is the lead singer of Glory Bound. And he is going to be doing something, once again, extraordinary for the community, Cherokee County. And we're going to talk about that when we come back. 
whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Okay, this would not be the Sherry Show if I weren't reminding you that tomorrow is election day. Do you see this red shirt? You see this red shirt? Okay, this red shirt says, I'm a conservative. It's my choice to be a conservative. You vote the way you want to vote. You choose the candidate of your choice, but I'm telling you, get out and vote. Vote your conscience, vote your choice. And I just have to share this shirt one time. I got it over the weekend and I absolutely love it. I, I had one, I gave my son a, a black one. Or I just, I love them. They're so cool, they're so cool. And uh, it's, it says it all. We have got to support the candidate of our choice. I'm gonna be up early in the morning voting. I hope that you will vote and I hope you will vote the conscience of your choice and the candidate of your choice. So there we go. All right, we are joined by my friend Bob Reese and I love Bob Reese. And um, he is the head monster at, <laughs> he is the head one at Glory Bound. Yeah. And he is the bass singer, but he is the man with the plan who for 36 or 37 years? 36 years. 36 years. Right has been providing Christmas for children in Cherokee County right. who could not otherwise have a Christmas. Right. And once again, you're bringing the best in the industry, the Isaacs, and a whole bunch of other people. Yes, we've got a great lineup. A year. great lineup, yes. a great lineup. Yeah. And I love that you're starting it at four o'clock. Yeah. Can I just say, y'all are gonna think I'm in a bad mood today. I do not like this new time. I've been up since 4.15 this morning. I woke up at 4.15, I was so confused. And then it was dark at 5.30 last night. Right. I go to Walmart and it's 6.20 and it's like it's midnight. I don't like it. <laughs> so you chose four o'clock in the afternoon to get us old folks home. That's right. Uh, That's right. More and more of the uh, Southern Gospel uh, concerts are happening earlier during the day mm -hmm. uh, for that reason, just to get people home before it gets dark. Right. Uh, and old ladies don't like to drive in the dark, Bob, and you know it. <laughs> right. Well, this this will be our first year for the White Christmas to begin that early, but in the spring we did the Widow Widower, mm -hmm. and we started it earlier, mm -hmm. and everybody just loved it, mm -hmm. and uh, it it really really does help the people coming in, you know, the fans that they can get home before dark and, right. and it's safer and, you know, so we'll see how it goes this year. Yep, you know? yep, excited. I'm yeah. so excited. Well, the Isaacs being there and then I love, oh my gosh, Linda Autry on piano. Oh, yes. Holy cow. Now, yeah. now that girl, she can tear it up. Well, she, uh, Linda's been playing piano for all of her life, I guess. Uh, has taught many, many people that are now uh, playing for some of the major groups. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, she is uh, probably one of the most sought after piano uh, players in Nashville to do recordings. And she just finished one with uh, Ben Isaac. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't, I'm, I'm gonna miss names. Uh, the tenor that used to be with uh, Statler Brothers. Oh, yeah. What is his name? Fortin. Jimmy Ford. Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah. And yeah. Uh, she just been she been on a lot of different uh, uh, projects in the last year or so, and uh, she's just a super lady. On top of that, that's and awesome. She and I were reminiscing the other day, uh, thirty something years ago, uh, we uh, were involved in a association called the North Georgia Gospel Music mm -hmm. Association. Mm -hmm. We have David Kite and Eric Tippins and. Uh, little Jan Buckner, uh, that was before she and uh, mm -hmm. Jerry Goff right. got married. And uh, we used to do the Redback Singings uh, way back then and uh, have different groups, you know, that would come and fill up the choir. And mm -hmm. so she's been around 
a long time. Long time, yeah. long time. Yeah. Well, you know, we need to give a shout out to somebody that we love because the uh, WATC TV, which is where Fred Wyndham took me for many, many years, and WGGS in uh, Greenville have, have kept a program of gospel music going, and right now they have a new one coming out that is the Redback Hymnal Singing. Yes. And Charlie Sexton is involved in that. That's right. And what a piano player. What yeah. a piano player. Yeah. Charlie, Charlie is a good piano player and yep. an MC. Yep, yep. So yeah. that's going to be fun. Yeah. But we're all looking for some good gospel music. We're all looking for something to make us feel good. Have you yeah. noticed that there's an attitude in the air? It's not a feel-good attitude. People are nervous. They're nervous about gas prices, grocery prices, the price of utilities. People are nervous, Bob. Well, we're, we're, in, a, we're in a dark place, the uh, United States is. Uh, not only but we can turn the light back on we, tomorrow. Well, God can. Yes. And, yes. And uh, if we, and you know, we, Bible says if if my people would humble themselves and repent, you know, and call upon, you know, I'll, right. I'll answer. Right. And that's what we need to do. We as a church need to get get up on our knees, and and pray. Uh, no president, no Congress. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if a Republican, Democrat, or whoever can fix this without God. Mm -hmm. uh, God's going to have to intervene. Uh, not only with not only with the the money aspect, the economical aspects of what's going on in our nation, but the moral conduct of mm -hmm. our nation has mm -hmm. gone to pot. Mm -hmm. uh, gone to hell. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's <laughs> yeah. just it's just yeah. I mean where you got all this stuff coming in and they they pounding it down not only our throats but oh, the yeah. children's throats. Children's throats. throats. That's In where they're the getting. Schools. Satan is looking to capture the child. Right. Satan is looking to seek and destroy. Satan will attach himself and boy you talk about once he gets hold. Right. Oh my goodness. And and the sad part about it, uh, the biggest part of the problem we have now are the churches. Mm -hmm. The churches are not uh, and I'm talking about the people. That's the church are not standing up to what's right and what's wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Lefebvre Quartet, they, they retired a few months ago, but they did a song, and, and we have since recorded it also, called Let the Church Arise. Oh, yeah, I love that. And, and uh, church, we got to arise. We mm -hmm. got to stand up for what's right. Mm -hmm. And until we do, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. And... and so maybe we are closer to the end of time than what we really think because the Bible says it will get worse. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it, it's looking, we're in a dark spot. We're in a dark spot. Yeah. Well, did you bring some music for us to I lighten, did, folks? I we're going to lighten you up. I've got two videos for the, from the Isaacs. Okay. Uh, and they're going to be uh, at our White Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we'll, I guess we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Yes. Can we play this music and let folks get lightened up? Yeah, Here we I, go. Don't, I don't know which one they're going to play, but it's <laughs> Christmas. Stuff Here we go. Y'all just enjoy. Jesus' birth. It's called Labor of Love. It 
was a cold sky above. But for the girl on the ground in the dark, every beat of her beautiful heart, it was a labor of love. And noble Joseph by her side. With the tears upon her face, it was a labor of love. It was not a silent Okay, Bob Reese, that is what you're going to get to hear on Saturday, y'all. Get yes. in your cars. Yeah. Be at First Baptist Canton, Georgia by 3.30 if you're smart. I've warned everybody, get there early. There's a lot of parking. There are a lot of seats. There are 600 seats, but I can guarantee you it will be packed. The Isaacs are truly on top of their game, and we all know the history of how Lily Isaacs was raised Jewish and became yeah. a Christian. And what a testimony, yeah. what a testimony. She has a, uh, a book that uh, she'll have on their table, I'm sure. Uh, and the Isaacs, in the past year, I mean, they, they've been There's great. no award they haven't gotten. Right, and they've, they've been winning them for years. But this past year, this year, uh, 2022, they, uh, they became members of the Grand Ole Opry, which mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a big, big deal. Oh, yeah. A little oh, yeah. Oh, North yeah. Georgia hick like me. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, they, and then they won all kinds of Grammys. Uh, they TVs, are so. they are number one. Yes, they are number and, one. And but they're number one because they deliver a true message. Well, it, it's because of their heart. Mm -hmm. it's, Absolutely. They, yeah, and you hear, and people say it about Glory Bound, and you hear it about other groups. You know, I know these guys. You know, and and they sing what they feel in their heart and all that. You know, but. You hope everybody's singing yes. feels that. And yeah. I believe yeah. that with Isaacs. I believe they, they yeah. know what they're singing about because mm -hmm. they're the same deal off stage mm -hmm. uh, as they are in the studio. And I've right. been in the studio, you know, uh, 
They just they're just great people. They're great people. Yeah. They're great people. And and they're not the only super talented great people. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean we've got we've got the band Jubilee, which mm -hmm. is from Woodstock, Georgia, a family right. group, the Begays and uh, they are just incredibly awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're they're a uh, bluegrass uh, gospel, Southern mm -hmm. gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are just amazing. Uh, Two girls and a son mm -hmm. and the mama. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we got John R. Bowman, who is married to Becky Isaac right. Bowman. Right. And uh, he's been with us actually longer than Isaac's has, but uh, he, <laughs> he can sing. He's got that voice. He's amazing. You know, yeah, yeah. he's got yeah. that voice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. then uh, this year, uh, my daughter Christy will be back. She's this will be her 35th year singing with mm -hmm. us. I messed up two or three years ago and forgot to tell her the date. Uh oh. And she had booked a women's conference and couldn't get out of it. So I've been getting a whipping on that. I <laughs> bet saying. you have. But I she'll be back have. this year with two of her daughters, Cameron and Chloe. And uh, then I have another granddaughter. Uh, my son's, one of his daughters, Maddie Reese, will be playing the piano. And then this year, uh, Tim Moxley, who is a tremendous uh, supporter of Glory Bound and Glory Bound Ministries and the White Christmas, uh, three of his granddaughters, called the, the Swafford Sisters, will be with us this year. And they are, I haven't heard them yet, but I'm getting good reports, mm -hmm. uh, and they're so good that the Isaacs are actually going to produce their first. That is seat. cool. That is a, that, that is like beyond cool. <laughs> that is way up here. Yeah, high yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, so that's looking, awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then, of course, we mentioned Linda Altry a while ago. Uh, is going to be playing uh, just a, a, a minute, a few minutes before the service, mm -hmm. and then one or two songs after we get into mm -hmm. the service. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then Rick Sullins, uh, of course, our piano player, uh, who needs prayers, and, and yes. maybe we'll get a chance to talk about that too. Yep. Rick will be playing for us as well, and then Glory Bound will be there. And so we've got a great lineup. Uh, we've got, uh, at the end of the service, as we did last year, we've got 300 boxes of food. Each box has 100 meals in it. That equates to 30 thousand meals right. that we're going to be giving away after the concert to families that might need a helping hand mm -hmm. because of all this. And if you're there stuff. at the concert and you don't need the food but you have a neighbor who does, by yeah. all means pick up a box yes. and take to your neighbor. Yes, yes. Yeah. We're, and uh, we're, of course it, it's free to get in uh, but we will be taking up a love offering and we ask that you come prayed up and bring your billfold full. Mm -hmm. Or bring a check or whatever. Uh, last year we helped. Seven hundred over seven hundred. Over seven hundred kids, which is the uh, most we've ever helped. Uh, and I don't look for this year to be any less. No. Probably more. Probably more. Uh, yeah. Especially with all the economic stuff yeah. that's going yeah. on. So we need your help, y'all. Yeah. We need your prayers most of all, but we need your money too. And again, this is this Saturday, y'all. Yeah. Put it on your calendar. This Saturday, 4 o'clock, show up at First Baptist Church, Canton. It's up there on the hill behind Home Depot, yeah. up there at the top of the hill. Yeah. Easy to find, unless you're me. Uh, and we want you there front and center early, early. Come and get to know these groups. Supply, support, be right. there. And if you do have a neighbor who needs a box of food, know that you can take it to them. Yes, or two or three neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So we last year we gave them away and, and we gave every one of them away. So expect to do that again yep. this year. Yep. Uh, but it, it is uh, November the 12th, next Saturday, 4 o'clock, Canton First Baptist Church, One Mission Point, Canton, Georgia, and you can just Google map that and it'll right. take you right there. Uh, love, love, love to have you to come. We've, I've even gotten calls from uh, a, a man from Nevada Wow. That's coming, and he uh, he called and wanted to know how many seats the church held. He said, I don't want to fly all the way from the bar right. and get there and can't get a seat. I said, yeah. sir. Yes, I 600 said, I, seats. I, well, it's 800. 800. Yeah, said, we can do it. I said, if 
You come in and you can't find your seat. You say if you find Bob Reese, I'll give I, you my seat. I guarantee you can yes. find Bob Reese. Yes. And I guarantee you a seat. Yeah. So, yeah. That's uh, awesome. Looking forward to meeting him. Yeah. For him to come. He yep. is a Isaac. He's. This is his words, not mine. Guru. So he. <laughs> I love he, it. He follows them. He's going to actually leave Canton and go. I forgot where he said. One of the Carolinas to another concert that they're doing mm -hmm. while he's out here on mm -hmm. the East Coast. Cool. Plus, so. he's going to get to see the beautiful North Georgia mountains. Yeah. So, how cool is that? Yeah. Well, did you bring one more song? Because we have enough time to do one more song. Uh, this is another one by the Isaacs. Okay. And everybody's familiar with this song called Mary Did You Know, but they do it just as well or better than anybody. So, we want to welcome you again to come this Saturday, the yes. 12th, this Saturday, 4 o'clock, Canton First Baptist Church. Please be there. Please come and support this amazing ministry of Glory Bound. And here we go. We're going to take you to the Isaacs once again. Lord of all creation, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect land? This sleeping child you're holding is a great. If that won't get you in the Christmas spirit, the Christmas mood, you talk about cold chills. We have just a minute left, and we want to remind y'all, please, please, please come. Yeah. Canton, Georgia, this coming Saturday, 4 o'clock, the, the doors are open at 3. Yeah. 
Three o'clock. And we hope you will come get there early, get to know these groups, buy some of their product, hang out with them. And please, please support this white Christmas. This is many, many years of Bob and Linda's heart, and nobody gives any better than the Reese family gives. So we want you to be a part of that. And also, I got to remind you, tomorrow morning, get up early and go vote early. Go vote, exercise your right to vote, exercise the right that that American soldier gave you by dying on a battlefield. And, and that's... Veterans Day is coming up this Friday. Friday, that's right. And uh, so we do need to get out and vote. Linda and I have already voted early. Uh, I'm recovering from a hip replacement, so we went to get ahead of the crowds and mm -hmm. stuff. And you need to vote. Need to vote. Uh, we need to vote and, and it, exercise our right. Those of you that are not voting are voting for the dark side. That's right. That's right. That's right. Couldn't have said it any better. It's time for us to get out of here before they throw us out. We'll see you again only on ETC. Have a great afternoon, y'all. Thank you for having me.